Welcome back to your Daily Dose, everybody, and welcome to Hollywood Studios. We are headed to... Jollywood Nights! Woo! which apparently could be uh, Disney World's number one Christmas party. Now last year, Disney learned a lot about Jollywood Nights. The good, the bad, the ugly, but mainly this year, I heard nothing but good things. Tonight, we're gonna have a lot of fun, but we're gonna check out a lot of things and a lot of new things at that. We're gonna look at the Tip Top Club, the soiree uh, over at the Twilight Zone, Holiday Fiesta, which looks amazing, Pixar Disco, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam, which is now at 10 p.m. instead of 12. Thank you, Disney, for that. Glisten, an all-new ice skating show at Disney World. If I've ever seen an ice skating show Disney style, only Royal Caribbean, so we'll see how that is. Holidays in Hollywood, I believe that is a Muppet show. We'll see what that is. Tim Burton's A Night Before Christmas sing-along, resumes from last year. We have a lot of new characters around Echo Lake, Animation Courtyard, Pixar, Pixar Place, Toy Story Land. We're gonna have Bo Peep and Lotso, I believe there. We're gonna have some nummy, nummy food offerings, but most importantly, we're going to have fun. We're gonna have a ball. It is my first time ever at Jollywood Nights. I can't wait to be here, so let's go check it out. And we do wanna get Casey's opinion because she is the Christmas tree at your house. She, she, this is like, you know, her thing. Christmas is her thing. I am basically an elf at this point. We're walking on in at 7 p.m. Actually, when Hollywood Studios closes, it's seven. Our party doesn't start until 7.30. Our ticket, I believe both, both cost, I think $170. Each. Each, 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 each. This is Casey's first time actually seeing the Christmas decorations this year at Hollywood Studios. It's gonna be a fun time. It's gonna be busy. It's gonna be fun, but let's go see if this is Disney's number one Christmas party. I have some high hopes, some high expectations, and I have a feeling they're gonna deliver. All right, all right, all right. Event check-in right this way, but actually this is my first time at night seeing Hollywood Studios decorations for the year. We haven't been coming too much at night, but it is Christmas weather. It's like it in the 50s. Christmas. I have not one, not two, but three layers on the top mm -hmm. because it is rather chilly. The low tonight is 42 degrees. That is shocking in Florida. If you guys uh, paid attention to our New York trip, Casey bought the sweater for Jollywood Nights. She yeah, got it. Sure did. it was she sold got out it. In my size here, but New York, New York. We love you, New York. All right, let's go on in. You're gonna see a lot of people actually leaving right now at the moment because fan. Oh my gosh, Fantasia. Oh my gosh, Fantasmic just just ended. Hello. It's like a nice cold mix though, honestly. I'll follow you in. Disney does not mess around with their crowd control. We're in. The cast members actually have something on their name tag. It's pretty cool. It's like a nice little clip on. Well, we got a pink band. Casey's gonna love that one. Pink, pink, pink. Oh my gosh. We got a thick book for Jollywood Nights. Gotta take a peek at this. Let's head on in and see what Jollywood Nights is all about. I'm actually really, really excited. There's something extra special about Christmas at Hollywood Studios. So I can only imagine this party is gonna be incredible. Yes. You guys gotta comment down below. Were you, when you guys were here for Osborne, did you enjoy going to Hollywood Studios more or back then MGM Studios? I believe that's what it was called. MGM, I believe it was. Versus Magic Kingdom. What was more magical to you? So I really feel like Disney stepped another game here. And we're hopefully gonna see that all tonight. We got a busy, busy schedule. What's good, friends? If you're here for Jollywood, oh, light up ears. Don't be fancy. I'm jealous. If They're directing us Jollywood, this way. way. I don't remember this last year. Last year was actually the first, first year for Jollywood. That's what I mean by they've learned a lot. Similar to Magic Kingdom, we're going to a backstage area that's now themed. Hello. What do you have? Oh my gosh, wait, that's so cool. Holy cow. Wait, that is wonderful. Guys, I don't really remember this from last year. I probably should have rewatched my vlog, to be honest, just to see what was different. But this looks different. I believe that's Ollie, if I'm not mistaken. All right, we're in. We have about 30 minutes till, till the event starts. I highly, highly, highly recommend before you guys come 
to plan out what you want to do because there's actually so much this year that it's kind of overwhelming. You have to, if you want to see all the entertainment, you got to kind of have it scheduled. Quick look at the Jollywood map they gave us. We have Gertie on top. Let's flip through it. See Much what we love have. and respect to Gertie. There's like a million pages in this this year. It, yeah, this is a. Oh. This is pretty thick. Wow. So it highlights all the entertainment on this first page. We got lots to a do. A lot of lots entertainment. Lots to check out. Like so, this is more of an adult party for sure. A lot of people love, love, love to dress up. All fancy and dapper. Character, Character greetings. Fizz and Ferb. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wait, that's nice they do this. Screenshot if you guys are coming. If not, you're, you're, you, I guess you're going to see it for the only time this year. And then the map. That looks pretty much just like last year. They've definitely amped it up. I really didn't dislike it last year. You guys know I just come to kind of have fun, so There's we'll see how it too. is. Oh, yeah. Well, Oh, before we um get rolling here, let's go check out that merch. By the way, too, um, photos are complimentary. So, photo pass all included. Well, Wait, technically not. There's more. I keep thinking there's going to be an end. <laughs> no, Just there's more. A highlight of the food. Ooh. That's it. Cool. Wait. Boys and Girls 2 Santa is here tonight. Hopefully, we'll be able to see him. He is here before he delivers the toys. He really is. Just learned in stage one in the soon to be gone Muppets Land has the exclusive merch. More on that in a different video, but you guys know Muppets Land is out of here now. We're headed to what I loved a lot last year. A cool little tip top lounge up here. Nice little soiree. Let me see if I can get this sign to focus a little bit more. There it is. What do we have here? Oh, it's gonna. But see what I mean, how it's more of a adult Christmas party. But one of the things they did do this year to make it more family friendly is the fireworks now at 10 instead of midnight. Right this way. You got some extra decorations. Shout out to the team who does this because they have to do this all couple hours beforehand. I love the, the music. If I remember, the bar is way up there. Twilight Soiree. Soon we're going to have a nice band. Come on through. Or I guess come on down. Casey's actually gonna get a drink. The bar's a little past the the entertainment. Look at you. You know this makes up for your uh, you're not getting a hurricane in New Orleans. I know. I wasn't really in the mood to drink, but I saw that they have champagne flutes, and I feel like how cool is that to drink champagne or some sort of fun drink at Hollywood Studios during the party. Sounds like a great idea to me. You know what would be awesome, Disney? Since this is kind of like a, an adult Christmas thing, imagine you trick or treat. Or like, you know how you get cookies at uh, Magic Kingdom? You go around and you get champagne or like little little tastings of alcohol. That'd be something. I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> Wait, look at this. Look at the champagne flights. I think I should get one. So we have two of them, you know? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, my friend knows how to open bottle better than me. So. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> he knows if you've been bad or good, so be good. Whoa. Goodness sake. Pretty good. You're just... <laughs> <laughs> Tequila. Tequila. <laughs> gonna keep me warm tonight. <laughs> That's actually very true. Whew. Honestly, it was pretty good after I got through the tequila. 10 minutes till party time. Guys, my shirt's working. It, it was malfunctioning the whole day. It's on. It's <laughs> has some juice left in it. Oh my gosh. It's looking really good now. Wow. 
from New York City Christmas to Disney Christmas. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. They're just dancing all they're waving to us. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna dance. I think these are dancers. Yeah. This is new from last year. <laughs> Turns into a, a dance floor if you want. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Hollywood Tower Hotel. My name is Rachel, and these are the Alley Cats, and we are so thrilled to be here with all of you tonight, celebrating the sounds of the season here at the Tip Top Club's annual Twilight Soiree. I think that's going to be my annual tradition to kick off uh, the event. I just think that kind of just sets the night perfectly. I did that last year and we're doing it now. It just sets the mood, doesn't it? We robe dropped the Twilight Soiree and it was quite the view and quite the spot that we had to see not only the dancers, but the band itself. To be honest, I wish we could stay and dance, but we got a lot to do. We have a lot to show you guys and it's this? snowing. Oh my gosh, it's snow. I was like, what is glistening? It's snowing. Now it does this pretty much every night though. This isn't just for the party. Do you remember this show? Oh. Yeah. All right. We're gonna get some things out of the way so we have a little bit more time as the night progresses. Don't worry, we're gonna be back down this way in about 20 minutes or so for the Muppets Holidays in a Hollywood show. I freaking love this place, like I really do. It's snowing again. Like Hollywood Studios is finally getting back to like the old days of Christmas glory of my childhood that I remember. I'm probably gonna cry at least three times tonight. We have the blockade of Casimir's. Oh my gosh, you smell Wait, that? You know, it's the Brown Derby. The Brown Derby is actually open and they have a good menu, but I just feel like during the party, it's such a waste of time, even though this food smells so good. Hmm, look at that. Oh, baby. Uh-oh, you guys see that? It's here to the left. Christmas tree lights are out. We're going this way, Case. We're gonna about to see some characters. Characters. We're in the area where Jingle Bell Jingle Bam is, the fireworks show, but the all new glistening skating spectacular is on this stage right here. And honestly, I feel like if we had real ice, it would probably survive because it's cold. That's the ice stage. We're gonna make our way to Animation Courtyard. We have some characters here that are new, and we've got the Holiday Fiesta. Ooh, I hear it. I smell food too, my goodness. 
she's in her Christmas spirit, huh? I'm just so happy. You really are. I'm so happy. Jollywood Nights. Oh my gosh, it's a whole below band. This is new from last year. Oh my gosh. Wait, look at the lights they set up. Last year, if I'm not mistaken, they actually had something in there, but now it's outside. I haven't seen these doors open in forever. The studio store. Hello. It's just uh, some photo op opportunities. I feel like it's been like, gosh, like a decade since this has been open. Look at the old carpet. Oh my goodness. Guys, I don't even know the last time I've been in here. You can just get some pictures. Or actually, sorry, it's a video. It's kind of wild to see this, because this is such an old, old Disney thing. It's a piece of Disney history here. Oh, it's a Mickey, you see this? They have a Jollywood Nights train. Me and kick. Nobody was over here, so that might get a longer line as the night goes on. Who knows? Let's head down this way to uh, Pixar Place. There's actually another event going on here. We're going to the ones that actually don't have like time frames. Forgot one mighty important thing here. We have Jose here in one second. There he is. He's right by the band. Or the, and the dancers. And Panchito can also meet there too. Brand new experience, that whole thing. All right, onward. So now Pixar Place. There's a Pixar disco over here. We're gonna go check that out next. Honestly, it's probably pretty lively in here because if I had kids, I'd probably take them here. Here we're gonna find Goofy and Pluto and Joy, I believe. Joy's new this year. And then Enda Mode and Frozone is here as well. Oh, it's snowing too. Where's Santa? Ooh, a little bit different than I thought. I thought we were going to be going all the way back in there, but it's just this little spot. Yeah. I thought it was separate. Oh, we know how to party from the Oh, Joy, are you? Mike's here, too. Oh, yeah, Joy. Honestly, probably my new favorite Disney DJ. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's just Mike. Oh, oh. Go Mike. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mike is so unbothered. He's like, it's past my bedtime. That is hilarious. And now it's a regular dance party. Just have a good time. Honestly, I thought they'd be playing more Christmas music there. They're not. It's it's a party disco, I guess. So now right over here, we're actually gonna have a new experience. It's a meet and greet, and I guess it really kind of depends on who's gonna be here at the time. I also was wondering what those were doing today. Let's go. Cool. Oh my goodness. Ooh, this is not what I was expecting actually, but this is cool. Oh, cute. Daisy, Donald, oh. number one. Look at that photo op. What a cool, what a cool set. I really dig that actually. They look so cute. I think we actually have to go through Toy Story Land to find out what I was here for, because I did not actually expect this. Daisy and Donald didn't know they come here. Then we got Goofy and Pluto. I'm actually looking for um, Toy Story characters. Oh, that's cute. Neat. They did a really good job with those sets. I 
a not, night like tonight, the lands are going to probably be predominantly empty. Now, I'm looking for Lotso and Bo Peep. I could have sworn they were supposed to be there. We just looked at our lovely map, and it said friends from Toy Story over here. We found it. We did. That is a handy dandy map. You would think it would be useful, right? Yeah, I would think so. And it was. I would think so. Welcome. Looks like Bo Peep and Lotso are alternating. So we got Bo Peep, but if you want to see Lotso, Lotso will also be here. If I'm not mistaken, didn't Bo Peep? Bo Peep used to be in the parade. The Christmas parade at Magic Kingdom, and she wasn't anymore, right? Ooh, I don't know. I don't remember that. She used to be. <laughs> now, just to know, it does say on the map that it's friends from Toy Story. It didn't say specifically Bo Peep and Lotso. Mm -hmm. So they might alternate. Might not always be these two, but that's what we've found from our research. Agreed. By the way, you don't even have to step foot in Galaxy's Edge. Mando and Baby Yoda are actually there, but they're there pretty much on the daily, so... If you want to go on Star Wars rides, go for it, but there's really nothing special in there for the event. So we're not going to go there. Follow us. We're rushing around. How is your, your night, darling? So far, so good. This is a really fun event. There's lots to do. We are going and hitting it all. So we're, we're making good time. I'm excited to see the entertainment coming up pretty shortly. I am too. The big highlight for me for this is, is the entertainment. But gosh, I'm getting old. I mean, I've already known that, but my back, once the cold weather hits, I'm telling you, it stiffens up. Quick look at the wait times. It's, it's eight. It's, it's a dead park for the attractions. Wouldn't suggest it, but hey, you can do diff parties differently. If you remember from last year, the lines for everything were very, very long. Haven't really seen that too much today. I guess this is probably like the longest lines for characters. But I feel like everyone's spread out because they did add so much. That's one thing that they did learn. They need more. And they definitely delivered so far. Now, although I didn't go last year, I did hear that there were a lot of things that were all in the same place or relatively same place. They learned their lesson and everything is pretty spread out this year, which is a good thing because it does not feel crowded at all. Mickey and Minnie's is a complete walk-on, but we have something kind of going out over here and I think people are already setting on up for the first ice skating show which makes sense I think it's at 8 30 if I'm not mistaken no 8 15 so crowds are uh, forming already I can't wait to check that out 803 wow but this is not that many people lined up they have a lot of shows so it helps stagger people agreed yeah it's really not that bad it's really not that bad it looks like they have a standing zone and a sitting zone. Are we at, I've never been, but that kind of is like at Disney Tokyo, isn't it? Don't they yeah. do that? Yeah, they, they sit in a lot of their parades, or all their parades, I should say. Oh my gosh, I feel like we're doing so much. We're doing so good on time showing you guys, because after some of these entertainments, I want to go eat, do other things, and it's a good thing we're kind of getting this, getting this out quick for y'all. I want to save Echo Lake for after or show, because there's actually a lot over there. Lots of characters, food, this just seems like another hub where a lot of people are too. I just want to make sure we get a good spot for the show. It's in 30 minutes. A lot of characters lot of will characters. be over here. I spotted Phineas and Ferb. Season three. Wait, Phineas actually has, and Ferb, they have the longest line I think I've seen a character have in the longest time. There's 104 days of summer vacation when school came along just to end it. So the annual problem for our generation is finding a good way to spend it. Like maybe building a rocket, There's or more? building a mummy, or climbing up the Eiffel Tower, discovering something that doesn't exist, or giving a monkey a shower, do, 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 serving tidal waves, creating nanobots, or <laughs> locating Frankenstein's right. It's over here! I think Casey's found her voice. Doesn't she have a good voice now? Oh, I, I, she's, she's the next pop star. I think we're gonna have her, uh, I think we're gonna have her first little snack here at the trolley, uh, car cafe. They have two things here for Jollywood Nights. I think we'll just get them both. We're gonna try it. Just some food. Shortest line you'll ever find here at Hollywood Studios. It's warm too, gosh. Oh, I think this is it, Case. This is the gingerbread bites. I haven't seen this this year. This is the new Starbucks Christmas one. I have the one from last year, it has a candy cane. I actually brought it in the car on the way here. <laughs> she did. I love that thing. 
Well, I'm not sure how good these are going to be, but they have Ollie on it, symbolizing it's for Jolly Nights. Gingerbread bites. Let's see how it is. There's the apple croissant on a waffle, and then a gingerbread bites. I don't know how the gingerbreads are going to be. They kind of feel pretty tough. Never have I ever seen Starbucks completely empty. That's wild. Good? I was expecting that to be kind of hard. But Same. It like it was, kind of, yeah, right, really good. This is the other one we got. I honestly thought I was going to like this. Now this one looks good. I feel like I'm going to drop this. There's two people in this world. One that uses a fork. Oh. Wake up. It's a croissant. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. You might not like it, it's minty. Yeah, it's minty. I don't mind it though. It's peppermint. No, oh, love it. You love it? I don't oh, love it. I was like, wow, who loves it? No. It's pretty good. I think it's the, is it the frosting that's minty? Yeah, peppermint. Yeah. It's, it's not bad, it's just not my taste. I think there's gonna be better food out there. Agreed, agreed. All right, on with the show. We both actually just don't like hate it. We just figured there's gonna be better options, for sure. All right, let's go to the sh first show. Leave it to me, I just found out that it actually did start at 8.15, so we are a minute late. Go Kyle, go. Not the end of the world. I think my, I thought my notes were to show up at 8.15, but it was for the show time. We're actually gonna reverse tracks, we're gonna go back to animation, and then we'll go see that show. It's all good. All good, we got so much time. All good, that's the nice thing is that they have so many show times throughout the night. So if you miss one, chances are there's probably another one. All right, Aisha, we'll see you a little bit later. Okay, here we are, Echo Lake. Let's see who's all here. I'll give you one guess. The first stop is Phineas and Ferb. Huge line for them, honestly, still it's it's a pretty darn big line at that. See, this is all I need to do for showing you guys. I don't need to meet them, which is nice. Otherwise, it's probably be like a eh, 10, 15 minute wait. Maybe it's potentially 20. But do you want a picture? Because you know their anthem. No? No, I'm okay. I There's only one character I really want to meet tonight, if it's not too long, and that would be Santa Duffy. But I don't know what he needs. We gotta find him on the map. We got Max. All by himself. Where's his dad? He was, we saw him earlier. Actually, we didn't. Sorry, that was, I don't know, that was. No, we did. He was with, um. Pluto, Pluto. Pluto. Okay, good, 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 good. I, I forgot. He's with Pluto. So now here on Echo Lake, the returning characters are Phineas and Ferb, Max, Powerline Max, to be exact, Rescue Rangers, Chip and Dale, I've yet to see them, Santa Stitch. Oh, where are they? And then Baloo and King Louie will also be here somewhere. They are new this year. They will be rotating, potentially. So I have to keep coming by periodically. But lines are so much better this year. So much better. There they are, Chippendale, right by Indiana Jones. Pretty simple to find them. Oh, is that Duffy? Someone over here, too. I don't, I really, where did you see Duffy? He's here, I promise. Are you sure? He's not out, out here, though, I don't think. Let me look at the map. I did see him. You did? Yes, I did. Okay. I didn't see him on the map. I didn't read Duffy. I didn't find well, Duffy anywhere. Unless I just imagined it. Wow. Okay, wait. Yeah, it's Jiminy. And here he is. No lines for food. No lines for alcohol. Oh, here's King Louie and Baloo. This way. By the back lot. There he is. New this year. Doesn't have the longest line, unfortunately, but another added character. It looks pretty tropical. Yeah, King Louie, it's a little bit cold out. What's going on? Stitch is meeting in Olaf's normal spot. Actually, he's pretty long. 30 minutes for Stitch. Yeah. Dance, dance. <laughs> I thought you were showing this sign. This is event merchandise. Nope, but it is this way. Baseline actually has something pretty good I want to try. It's like a mac and cheese bite. Ooh, <gasps> what? Wait, this is another hot spot. There's so much going on. I see a character over here to the left. Who is it gonna be? Crowds have been so nice. Is it Bert? It is. Yes. Oh. Bert and Penguin. I don't see Duffy. Wait, I think Duffy's over here. Maybe. Let me check it 
Right, let's check it out. Ba Gosh, these crowds are awesome. Yeah, these crowds are exactly what I wanted them to Gosh, I love it. ABC Commissary has a Christmas wonderland going on. We got reindeer crossing. This kind of worked out because I'm kind of hungry. And there's two things I want to get here. Actually, same with, I think Hydraulics actually has something pretty good as well. Well, I don't know if it's good. It just looked good for my taste buds. This is a Duffy uh, brownie, actually. What? Duffy? Yeah, Duffy brownie at Hydraulics. It's new this year. Well, obviously, we gotta get it then. Yeah, we will. All right, this is for Case. Duffy is somewhere back here. Also, you're gonna find the event merchandise. It's back here in stage one. And also, kiddos, Santa, I believe, is back here. I also heard some monsters are lurking back here, too. Monsters Inc. Monsters. Mm. Yeah. Quickly, let's go look at some of the merch. Stage one is usually only open for big events. Let's take a look at the merchandise. Oh, I wish you could buy that. That's nice. I bet you someone's asked. I don't really wear ears. Those are cute. They're very cute, but I know I just said I don't wear ears as I'm wearing ears. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> cute pin here. Honestly, cute. really cool mug, and it's big. Wait, I love that mug. 20 bucks, what a bargain. Oh Wait, no way. They have more of these like fun photo ops back here. We gotta do that, oh my gosh. It's a cool looking ornament, $26. Again, all this merch is limited to the party. Casey found something, lug. It's nice. Oh, it's cute. 65 buckaroos. This, is, this seems to be a new staple for Disney. The festivals yeah. at Epcot for, I guess, the parties now. There wasn't one for Mickey's Very Merry, but of course there's one for Jollywood Nights. So I was actually mistaken. Santa is not here, but Santa Duffy is. That is crazy. You know, I feel like Santa himself is just right there and he's running late. He needs to start getting the presents ready. So he's escaping while Duffy's taking over. 50 minutes. We'll, we'll, we'll 50, try to come 50? back. It says 5-0. Oh my goodness. Five -oh. We are not doing Christmas Wonderland back here. Wait, it's so cool. Hello. Oh my gosh. Good job. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Quick look at the menu. I think we're gonna get the Italian beef sandwich. And I think this caramel mocha Napoleon. The Napoleon looks delish. Look at her, our sandwich comes with some dip sauce. Aju, aju, coming to the tree. This looks delish. Right up our alley, look at all those jalapeno peppers. All right, I'm gonna dip it. Hopefully I don't burn myself. Mm. Good? Yeah, it kind of feels like Portillo's, you know? Yeah. We messed up. Why? I want this whole thing. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a bite. I already... This is good. I already ate some food before we got here. Anything with jalapenos, peppers, I'm uh, game. Jalapenos. What are they? Bananas? With the banana peppers? No, they're at least sports pepper. Hmm. I forgot they're called. Next up, let's give it... Actually, why am I using a fork? I'm gonna keep the fork in there. It's kind of added touch. It makes it look cooler. <laughs> this is better than the Starbucks stuff. That's the winner so far. 10 out of 10 with that. Oh yeah, both of these are the winners. Winner dessert, winner entree. Casey and I were just saying this because it's so funny, us growing up, we would like come into the parks and go to these events. We would never go get to the food or the entertainment. We just go right to the rides. It's, it's so funny because now we have to go, well we have to, well we want to. To show you guys too, we have to go to the entertainment and eat the food. It's just, I don't know, we thought it was funny. Well, I actually had speculated. I thought there would be some characters meeting in this corner, but I guess it's just for fun. Duffy Brownie. And then dark and snowy. Not gonna get that. That's what we want. Oh We're tag teaming this. Casey's getting this, and I'm going right across the street to go to baseline. Ooh, check it out. Mary Poppins has now entered the party.
So we actually uh, decided to get two of these because I figured I was gonna eat a lot. By the way, this is five bucks total, ten bucks, two fifty each. And look at Casey's Duffy brownie. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought. Like this portion size is massive, massive. Shout out for Case for always having the Touchland germ stuff. <laughs> Hand sanitizer? Yes. Because I'm not going to be using a fork with this mac and cheese because it, it's kind of like, I don't know, it just feels like finger food. It's like a charcuterie board. They have a charcuterie cup, but I feel like right that's here? the same. It's like yeah. the same as a charcuterie board because they still have the pretzel. Thanks for getting two. Oh my gosh. Mmm. What is this? It's mac and Ooh. cheese with what? Like pepper? Yeah. Look at that. Wait, is that bacon too? Yeah. Mm. Nice crunch on the outside. I don't know how, but my battery's already dead, and I didn't realize we've been filming a ton, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying. But so good, so good. This mac and cheese bite is very, very spicy, spicy, like very spicy. But it's right up our alley. I'd like to see them bring this to the parks. It's very good. Do you know what kind of sauce that is? I have no idea. I saw mac and cheese and I just wanted to eat. It's phenomenal. Duffy brownie with a lot of cream on the outside. It's okay. I'm glad we went to Pizza Rizzo because that, what we had over there was so much better. I feel like this has chunks of like chocolate in here. I don't like that kind of brownie. I'll do Not the, my fave. I'll do the review here because I'm more of a chocolate person than he is. I just need to finish my mac and cheese ball first. All right, the chocolate consumer. <laughs> Connoisseur. <laughs> Verdict? Miss Christmas? It's not chocolate. I mean, it's cho it's a brownie, but I think what you're tasting is not chocolate chunks. There was chocolate chunks. Maybe Blue I literally got them all. Honestly, as we walk to our next event that or whatever we're doing, it's been so chill. Like they really did a good job spreading this out now where I, it, it honestly just kind of pays for itself because it's such a unique experience with very little crowds, even though I think this event is sold out. It's a big difference compared to Mickey's. Thought a character would be meeting here, but it is just like a, a photo op. And to be honest, like I really feel like there's more entertainment here than at Mickey and Minnie's Very Merry Christmas Party. I think I said Mickey and Minnie's, but it's just Mickey's, my bad. I'm just gonna come here out and, and say it. I thought potentially this actually had the potential to potentially, wow, I just said potentially like 5,000 times, to uh, be better than Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. It's, it's simply not. It definitely does fall short. It's just a cool different Christmas vibe for sure. And what I mean by fall short, it doesn't really fall short of expectations in competition to the other Christmas party. It's not as good, but it's not bad. I think that it's hard to compare the two because they are completely different vibes. I do think that Mickey's uh, Very Merry Christmas Party is going to be more favored with families, with younger children, and this is more of like, I'd say more teen, young adult, and just like Disney adults. This is more of their vibe, I would say. I do like the vibe, but I was just ultimately comparing them. And this is like kind of like my midway through, because we haven't even seen literally any of the entertainment at all. And that's all we did at Mickey's. Very Merry Christmas party. All right, 9.15 show. Let's see how packed it is. It starts in like 12 minutes. Plenty of space. We have some truly fabulous entertainment in store for you all today. We have music. We have dancing. We have holidays in Hollywood.
in peace, Muppets. Welcome, one and all, to Disney Holidays in Hollywood. I said the honor was ours. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> I suppose it is an honor for you and the rest of the cast, too. Well, look at me. I'm just honoring everyone here with my presence tonight. But I guess that is the spirit of the holidays, isn't it? <laughs> sure. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, but uh, when I think about what the holidays mean to me, it's uh, sharing the magic of the season with the ones we love most. Aww, and that's why you're here with more tonight, isn't it, Kami? <laughs> well, uh, you see, uh, <clears throat> we're here because, uh, because we were both uh, invited. Yes, and because there's no better place to spend the holiday season than Walt Disney World! Woo! Christmas means to me, I think about presents. Really? Just presents? There's so much more to the holiday season than gifts, isn't there? Stage. Well, that just won't do. I didn't have any time to accessorize between numbers, and I refused to be upstaged. I could never upstage you, Piggy. Now, listen, uh, how about I make it up to you by getting you a churro and a spirit jersey after the show? <laughs> uh, I'll throw in a giant pretzel. Now we're talking! <laughs> hey, Kermit, the band's about to do a number and someone's missing a Santa hat. Can we borrow yours? Oh, sure, here you go. Thanks, pal. Ah, no problem. And now, as a special gift to all of you, give it up for our house band, the Jolly Eight. <laughs>
like it's a maze place with this tree, we can dress it up with all kinds of lights and ornaments and, and sit by the fire with some piping hot cocoa. I knew that the Muppets were involved, but I was not expecting to see Princess Belle and Princess Tiana, Mickey and Minnie. It was all really nice surprises. I loved that show. It made me laugh, and it made me feel the holiday spirit even more. Fireworks in 20 minutes. Honestly, I'm not really worried about crowds anymore showing up on time to everything. And then we'll have the Glisten Ice Skating Show. Bell, jingle, bam! Ready for a rockin' good time and enjoy Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell!
fan of him over there. Tonight we've got a special holiday transmission from the big guy himself, Santa Claus. And to make sure the site is holly jolly, I'm sending in our top prep and landing team, Lanny and Wayne. It's classified Kringle level nine, but prep and landing are an elite unit of elves who get houses around the world ready for the big guy's arrival. Their mission, get in, get out, never be noticed. Oh, Lanny, Wayne. Where are you? Right here, Jingle Bells. Two, one! Oh, where is he? Uh, Wade? Santa's not in his office. Ah, great garland. McGee! <laughs> I just tried his cell phone. No answer. Typical. You scared? Calls for Thrasher the Reindeer. Thrasher, good buddy, get us out of here. Singing, let's be jolly. 
skating show. Oh, it's like actual ice.
All right, well, we, I'm gonna keep a little bit of that in there. I really feel like if they wanted to make the, the ice skating better, not saying it wasn't, I mean, they're pretty limited with the stage itself. I'd love to see characters in that. I really would. Like Disney on Ice, I think that would be spectacular and probably would get a lot more people to go there. I really feel like they're limited though with that stage area. We're probably gonna do one more thing because Casey and I are freezing our butts off. It's like 50 degrees out, guys. Keep in mind, we're used to it being literally like 90 to 100. And we're not really dressed for cold, cold. And this is cold, cold. <laughs> I cannot keep it with Casey. She is jetting out of here. We are freezing, guys. Oh, this angle is nice. So cute. Thanks, Duffy. Hi. <laughs> it's warm in here. Can we stay? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, folks. We are. We're headed on out. We are freezing. It's 11:15. It doesn't close till 12:30, but our toes are cold. We are Floridians. We didn't go to the uh, night before Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. That's oh, we Christmas. Crushed. We didn't do that. Um, overall, what did you think? I thought it was really fun, thought the entertainment was great, the vibes were immaculate. I really enjoy like the glitz and glamour of Christmas. I really like that theming. Um, I would say that I still think I prefer Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party more. Oh yeah. Um, I don't know. That was just such a classic. I think it really depends on what you're looking for. If you are an adult and you don't really like all the crowds, maybe come here instead. Yeah, where the, where, wasn't that crowd, but I did find out it actually wasn't sold out. Um, so that was kind of nice, but yeah, um, yeah I, I feel like overall everything, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party is, is so much better. It's a good alternative, but... Um, I'm not saying I don't like it though. Don't twist my words. Yeah. I loved it. I had a great time. Still feel like some entertainment still needs to improve. The characters improved, but we'll see what Disney does with this next year. See if it's worth it. I mean, it must have paid off from last year to this year, so... We'll see if they keep on improving it. I still feel like it does need some improvements overall. And I will say I did feel more magical leaving Magic Kingdom's Christmas than, than here for some reason, but I don't know. Maybe I, will, I will say though, meeting Santa Duffy was oh. top of my list and you can't do that at the at uh, Very Merry. So I think that was worth it in itself. We'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> that was it for your daily dose. Wishes luck for freezing. Bye bye. I'm not that cold.